These volunteers, individuals and teams from corporations and community groups are here to perpetuate a legacy. This is the Havea Heiau Complex and Keavava Wetland in Hawaii Kai. It's one of the most recent properties to be preserved and protected with the assistance of the State of Hawaii's Legacy Land Conservation Program, administered by the Department of Land and Natural Resources Division of Forestry and Wildlife. The Legacy Land Program is all about uh, providing grants to nonprofits, counties, and uh, state agencies that want to buy land and protect it for having uh, cultural, agriculture, natural resources, uh, watershed value, all those things that provide public benefits. The legacy of this land ticks numerous boxes. Natural features. You might remember talk about this tree known as Coco, the 2014 winner in American Forest's Biggest Tree Contest. Cultural. The Havea Heiau Complex provides a window to the past with petroglyphs, the ancient Nui or coconut grove that Coco towers above, agricultural terraces, a spring, and many ancient Hawaiian walls and structures including a heiau or place of worship and an ahu or altar. So when you have the opportunity to take a cultural and natural resource and have it on a five acre parcel where a community can come care for, learn about, uh, children can observe, and we can also help perpetuate the species of the alai ula, uh, I think we do vitally good work for the state of Hawaii as well as future generations to come. This particular property was purchased by the Trust for Public Land and set aside thanks to a partnership between the nonprofit Livable Hawaii Kaihui, the City and County of Honolulu's Clean Water and Natural Lands Fund, and the state's Legacy Land Conservation Fund. Since the Hawaii State Legislature authorized it in 2005 and 2006, the Legacy Land Fund has awarded funds to facilitate the purchase of nearly 22,000 acres of land, valued at nearly $100 million. Our contribution is usually about 30, 33%. So um, Legacy Land Funds actually are used to leverage other, other grant funds from federal, private, uh, sometimes county sources. And so with Legacy Land Grants, um, applicants to the program have been able to, to leverage that much funding to protect that much land. Avea Heiau and Keavava Wetland is unique. This five-acre parcel could have been developed, it's already surrounded by suburban sprawl, and was destined to become part of a yet-to-be-built luxury condominium project. Community-minded people and groups worked tirelessly to have it set aside forever and to line up the funds necessary to purchase and protect. It would have been far more difficult had we not had the opportunity to have legacy land funding because that was a matching uh, $225,000 that we received uh, where we received another $325,000 from the city. And to have that matching fund come in a timely organized fashion really helped the landowner understand and probably be far more willing to sell the land. Now, legacy land itself doesn't buy the land to protect. It, uh, it creates an incentive for the nonprofit land conservation organizations to keep doing what they're doing and uh, creates a funding uh, mechanism for state agencies and county agencies to do what they're supposed to do. Giving back and perpetuating a legacy is precisely what these folks are doing during one of the regular community volunteer service days at Havea Heiau. They're adding to the legacy here. To learn more about Hawaii's Legacy Land Conservation Program, please click on the address on your screen.